Coaches, let's take a look at the Furman Paladins and some Princeton offense concepts as they use chin and link it to point series actions. Let's put the spotlight on the chin cut off the back screen. In chin, the post is high and opposite the ball. The Paladins get to point series after chin by dropping it into the screener in the pinch post. The passer then cuts over the pinch post and meets up with the player in the corner. Here, curling that screen results in a layup. Here Furman goes chin to point over, but the pinch post hands back to the passer. This puts two defenders on the ball, leaves open the throwback, and creates a 3v2 advantage. Watch Furman cut when the top defender stunts at the throwback. Here's Chin to point over with the meetup in the corner. The cutter rejects, the screener pops back, and the pinch post takes the ball to the action. Furman punishes the defense with pitch and pops when they go under handoffs and ball screens. Here Furman uses forwards out, a handoff on one side coupled with an exchange on the other to enter chin. Chin cut off the back screen, into the pinch for point, and the passer cuts over for the split with the player in the corner. They play to the pop man in the curl pop combo and the passer follows into a side ball screen. Very similar sequence. Chin cut off the back screen, hit the pinch, and run point over. Project pop combo in the corner and pass and follow to a side ball screen. Furman often rejects ball screens as they do here. When the low man helps and they cover down to help the helper, Furman dives from the 45. Chin cut off the back screen, enter to the pinch, and run point over. Watch here as the pinch aborts the disrupted dribble handoff with the popback man and keeps it for himself. <laughs> 